Welcome to Voice AI. You can find Voice AI by navigating to AI agents on the left hand side of your navigation pane. Once inside, look underneath Getting Started and click on Voice AI. Underneath the Voice AI section, you have the ability to create your first Voice AI agent. Once you click on Create Your Voice AI Agent, you're going to open up the AI Agents dashboard. Depending on if this account has been set up previously, it may redirect you to create a new agent, as it did in our case. Once inside of creating a new AI agent, this is our first one, we can name our AI agent. Let's do Eliza. For the business name, it should default to your business name. You can change it if you'd like. Next, you have language, in which we'll choose English. Next, you have voice. You have the ability to shift through and choose a voice that you are comfortable with. Once you click a name, you can click on play and listen to a default of the voice. Find the name that you would like. Next, we can click on the time zone. It should automatically default to the time zone for your account. The direction is going to be inbound call. And next, we'll have the initial message. In our case, the initial message is what plays at the beginning of the phone call. So once a user or your customer or a lead calls your business, the phone number that is attached to this AI agent, your agent will default to say this message. In our case, it'll say, hey, you have reached demo account. How can I help you today? You can also insert custom values from this AI agent initial message. You can do so by typing it out or clicking on the right hand side that says tag, finding the value that you would like to insert and clicking on that name. In our case, we may want the first name to happen at the very beginning. So we'll say, hey, insert first name, you have reached demo account. How can I help you today? Once you're happy with the AI agent's initial message, let's click on next. Before you go to step two on how to set up your voice AI, you're probably learning a bunch about high level right now. So this is a go high level one on one course where you can set up your entire go high level agencies completely free. Thanks to the sponsor of this particular video and this channel extendly. So go and click on the link down below. You can get this. It's usually cost. But with my code and with this discount, with the link down below, then you get it completely free. So fill out some of the details, get the one-on-one -on -one course, and then finish this video. So I'll let you get back to it. That will save the first step of AI agent details and navigate next to the AI agent goals. Under the AI agent goals, you can set up the agent's personality and the actions that you want to take place throughout the phone call and following the phone call. Right now, we are in the default agent goals. We also have the ability to switch to advanced mode, but we will cover that in a different video. For the details to collect from the contact, we will want to check name, email, and the contact's issue for our demonstration purposes. Your needs may be different. In this case, we may want to trigger a workflow when the call is completed. Let's click on that checkbox. This will give us a drop down with a workflow that we can add to this account. You will have to have a workflow pre-built in order to select it. Since we do not, let's go ahead and turn this off. But in the case of using a workflow, you would trigger an action based on the call completion. That is the only trigger and the only action that occurs to initiate the workflow. If you want more advanced options on when to trigger a workflow, you will navigate to the switch to advanced mode. Next, you have receive email notifications post call completion. This is the option to enable a email notification that goes to certain people involved in the call. Right now, this will go to all admins of this account. Next, all users of the account. When checking that, you may not be able to specify additional users. It will just go to all users. In our case, we may want a specific user. We can click on the specific user and select Bob Lake. You can do additional users if you need be. You can also add a custom email. Once you're happy with all of our default settings under the agent goals, 
Click on Next. After completion of the agent goals, you will then land on Phone and Availability. Under this selection, you will choose which phone number you want to attach to each agent. In our case, we will select the only phone number that we have in our account, but you may have additional phone numbers. You can attach one phone number to each AI agent. Next, you have the ability to buy additional phone numbers if you need an additional phone number inside your account that you do not already have. Below this, you can enable the AI agent as a backup to the phone number pool. This will occur and interject into the call if the call forwarding number doesn't respond or the user that is being called does not pick up. This is great for if you were to miss or your client is to miss a phone call. The AI agent would then pick it up and act as a fallback. Next, you can set the working hours of the agent. If you leave off, the agent is then active 24 seven. You can click on turn on and select the days and the individual times. Once you're happy with the times, you may want to specify additional times by clicking on the plus symbol. Once you're happy with these settings on one particular day, you can hover to the right hand side and click on duplicate. You may want to duplicate this to multiple days. Once you're happy, click on apply and the previous settings will apply to the additional days. Now, the AI agent will only answer phone calls on those specified days. On the right hand side, you have the ability to test your agent. You can select the phone number to call from, enter in the phone number that you want to receive, most likely this will be your personal phone number, and then you can click on call me. Once you're happy with the test, the call history will then show up below. You can click on call history and run as many tests as you want for up to 10 minutes in a day. Once you are happy with all settings for your new agent, click on save. Once you have saved your AI agent, you'll be able to see them inside the AI agent list. The name that we chose is Eliza. The direction is inbound calling. You'll be able to see the phone number associated with the account and the last updated time. On the right hand side, you have three additional dots that you can click on to edit, duplicate, and delete this AI agent. Inside of the AI agent's dashboard, you can click on dashboard and logs. You'll be able to view all agents or choose specific agents that you want to view analytics for. Under this account, you can see the total calls, actions triggered, sentiment between phone calls, the calls completed, total duration, average call duration, and additional details for specific agents. You can filter these by date. Additional agents can be created by clicking the create agent in the upper right hand corner. Now note, we are underneath voice AI agents inside of settings in your account. Click on go back and then click on AI agents on the left hand side. You have the ability to access many of the same features that you just saw inside of the voice AI settings from within AI agents in the primary navigation inside of your account. From here, you can create an additional voice AI agent, test and talk to your voice AI agent, and assign phone numbers to go live. This is just quick access buttons to the voice AI.